Emily Ratajkowski has a history of high profile relationships. So today we're talking about the top 10 Emily Ratajkowski time she played a new guy. Starting off with number 10, Brad Pitt. After filing for divorce, Emily's first romantic linkup was with Brad Pitt. According to sources who spoke with Us Weekly, rumors circulated that Ratajkowski and Pitt had been on a few dates shortly after her divorce from Sebastian Bear McClard was made public. According to People, Ratajkowski and Pitt shared a love of art. According to a source who spoke with the publication, he was introduced to Emily by a friend in the art world. The source also emphasized that despite their attraction, nothing serious was going on. The activist, author, and model has been in the public eye ever since she appeared in the 2013 music video for Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines. A closely watched love life came along with the swift rise to fame. When she started dating actor Brad Pitt, a source told people that the two don't appear to be dating formally. An insider described Ratajkowski's breakup with Bear McClard as very rough for her. The source went on to say that it was devastating and unexpected. Right now is the best time to do it. Nothing makes you feel better than Brad Pitt. She wants to know him better. Number 9, the very infamous link up, Pete Davidson. On November 16, they were seen hugging in a building hallway in New York City for the first time since news of their romance broke. A source close to Davidson told People in December 2022 that the couple are really enjoying their time together. At the time, they were going strong and getting a little more serious, according to an insider. They have a love of the East Coast in common and similar vibes personality-wise and style-wise. Additionally, he always behaves the same way. He truly makes her snicker and keeps things fun. However, in the same month, a Ratajkowski associate informed people that the two had parted ways. The insider explained that Emily is single and extremely content. She will always put her son first, but when she has time, she enjoys dating. She likes being on her own. She has no plans to see Pete once more. Number 8, Eric Andre. A month after Ratajkowski ended her relationship with Davidson, she was seen in New York City with comedian Eric Andre. After they were captured together while making the rounds, TMZ was quick to report their night out. After their date night in Midtown, the comedian and model were seen having lunch together in February at Via Carota, an Italian restaurant in the West Village. Page Six claims that this was in response to their date night. The power source was told by an onlooker their conversation appeared to be pleasant. The two of them giggled and grinned. Following Ratajkowski's runway appearance at the Tory Burch show for New York Fashion Week on February 13, the two also had a courtside date before Valentine's Day at a Knicks basketball game at Madison Square Garden. Ratajkowski and Andre appeared to make the relationship official on Instagram when the comedian posted a picture of them naked on his profile on Valentine's Day amid their ongoing city dates. Number 7, Sebastian Bear McClard. Embracing the dating scene, Emily Ratajkowski has been open about life as a newly single woman following her July 2022 split from ex-husband Sebastian Bear McClard. The London native revealed that she and Bear McClard had tied the knot in a surprise courthouse ceremony just one month after the split of Ratajkowski and Majid. A source exclusively told us at the time, Emily has known Sebastian for years. They were all in a companion bunch. He was certainly not an outsider. In March 2021, they welcomed a son named Sylvester. Ratajkowski discussed the ups and downs of her relationship with the Uncut Gems producer in her book, including the fact that they had to spend some time apart while her mother was receiving chemotherapy. She wrote that the distance between them caused tension. S would text or call, but I didn't want to hear about his day or what was going on with his work. She said, I'd bitterly end our calls, realizing right away that I had caused tension between us. I had no idea that what my mother wanted for me was the same I wanted from S, to have someone to share her suffering. Radikowski told Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show that Bear McClard originally proposed with, without a ring, fashioning one from a paperclip and said, most famously, Ratajkowski wore a $200 Zara suit that promptly sold out naturally to marry Sebastian in a quiet New York courthouse wedding. While the couple seemed happy for a few years welcoming son Sylvester Apollo Bear in March 2021, by July 2022, the couple had announced their separation with Ratajkowski filing for divorce the following month. While there were reports that Bear McClard was trying to repair the relationship, rumors have swirled that the reason behind their divorce was cheating on his end. Number six, Jack Greer. 
When Ratajkowski was photographed kissing the artist outside her apartment in New York City in December 2022, it sparked rumors that she and Davidson had broken up. The English native revealed on her Highs and Lows podcast in the same month that she had just downloaded a dating app. Ratajkowski was linked to the New York artist Jack Greer but just before revealing her relationship with Eric Andre. In 2022, the couple was seen having an intimate moment just before Christmas, but other than that, it isn't known if the model and the artist dated officially or if they simply hooked up a few times. Regardless, Radikowski is well known for her appreciation of art, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that she was drawn to Greer, whose work includes drawing, photography, sculpture, and apparel design in creative circles. I think it's a really good way to make new friends, she said. Number five, Osario Rispo. Osario, a well known New York DJ and the son of a very successful luxury property mogul, was romantically linked to Emily in October 2022. Anyway, their sentiment was likewise brief. All we need to go off are a couple paparazzi photographs of them kissing around. New York, and some of Rispo going out. Radikowski revealed to Variety at the time that she was newly single for basically the first time in my life ever in an interview. Jeff Majid. Emily and musician Jeff were together for four years. Prior to sources telling the New York Daily News that Radikowski was moving out of their LA apartment and into a place of her own, Majid, a musician and creator from LA, dated Radikowski for three years. What led to the breakup? Possibly commitments at work. According to the source, Jeff is a very successful music producer who works all over the country. So their business successes didn't assist them with getting to know each other. Number three, Andrew Dryden. Emily had a public relationship with art director and menswear buyer Andrew Dryden for the first time. While we don't know much about the couple's breakup, reports surfaced that Radikowski discussed it openly at a Super Bowl event in February 2014. The couple dated for a year. Dryden replied, sorry, I don't want to talk about it, when Page Six questioned him about the end of the relationship. Number two, the dating apps. Emily does not appear to be ready to settle down yet, which seems wise. Emrata invited her friend Kat on the December 22nd episode of her podcast, High Low, to talk about their first experience with online dating and the reasons she decided to use apps. Radikowski said bluntly, I was like, epic. Because so many people had told me not to get it, I felt defiant. The actor didn't say which app she was looking at at the moment, but she did say a little about why she joined in the first place. She wants a normie boyfriend. Surgeons, lawyers, and academics, for example. Ordinary individuals. She stated, so I'm on this app just to meet those people. Even though the actor has received a few direct messages from women, which is exciting, she does not appear to be overly thrilled with the swiping lifestyle overall. According to her, the app is a little too white. She stated, I don't think I'm gonna meet my lady crush on here because it's very white and feels like a very particular man and very particular type of woman. So good luck to anyone who can hook up with Emily and re the requirements to find an opener that is more amusing than something Pete Davidson could compose. Number one, Harry Styles. Styles and Radikowski were seen recently kissing in Tokyo in March. The couple was seen hugging and kissing against a silver van in pictures and videos. The singer of As It Was performed two Love On Tour shows in Japan simultaneously. So what's next for their relationship? Let me know what you think in the comments below, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time on The Rich Life.